hello guys welcome back to simplified coding and uh, in the last video we have inserted the one record in our table and in this video we will do the same thing but with uh, but we will not use the rest api client postman instead we will use our android application so from this video we will be working on android studio as well so open android studio so let's create and a new android, android studio android project, project and so here give a name to your project and i am giving android php mysql hit next and the same you do always i am selecting an empty activity and then click on finish and let's wait while the project is loading sometimes it takes so much time while the project is loading uh, let's tell you that uh, i'm going to use the volley volley for performing the network res request from android application so write volley j center on google and search and you will get the official repository as we have gradle in android studio click on gradle and copy this line you need to add this line inside your app level build.gradle file inside dependencies block inside this file inside dependencies we will add volley and we will use volley to send network requests as using volley is super easy if you will go with the core method then you need to write too many codes and you need to think about too many things so i'm using volley to simplify the things just add volley inside dependencies block over here as the same as i added you can see i added volley and then sync your project with gradle and it will add volley to your project So we have our project ready and first come inside your package and here again we will create a new class to store the important constants. So I am naming the class constants. The first thing we need is the URL. So I will write public static final string root URL. Now what is the root URL? So let me open postman again. So this is our URL. To store the record inside the database. But local host will not work over here. We need to find the IP. So to know what is your server's IP, open terminal and if you are using Windows, then open command prompt. And for command prompt, you will write IP config, but it is a Mac and I will write IF config. And here you can see the IP. Let's find it out and I guess this is my IP. So to confirm it, I will replace the local host with the IP. And yes, this is the IP and it is working. So I'll use this IP, copy it and I will replace local host with the IP. And remove this HTTP and this slash. So now this should be private the u root url is still v1 now one more url we need is to register user so this would be public this time public static final string url underscore register 
and we will concatenate root url plus our file name and the file name was register user dot php so write register user dot php so we have the constants here we will need more constants but for now we need these two only now come inside main activity dot xml and create the ui of our app so basically we are going to create a user registration screen so create a linear layout match parent wrap content and orientation vertical now we need text views match parent wrap content and text would be user name we need only three username email and password so one more added text match parent wrap content hint would be enter user name okay and we need id as well added text username we need these two more pair of this so i will copy it control c Control V and Control V again. Edit text password input type password and this would be email. Edit text email and input type email. So we have username username and change the hint enter username enter email and here password and change the text of text views as well username password and email so we have the ui now we will need a button and after filling these edit text we will hit that button to insert the values inside the database so let's create a button as well button match parent wrap content id button register and text would be register user now put this ui in the center of the screen so center vertical to that's it now we can add one more thing over here add text view match parent match parent text will be already registered registered and then click here to log in and alignment would be center text alignment text alignment center okay and appearance that's it and we will put it below this linear layout so give id to the linear layout linear layout and we will put it below linear layout okay that's it so we have the ui ready and uh, in the next video we will code this ui and insert the data to the database so thanks for watching